Okay, so how about at this meeting where there's a lot of discussion of new treatments for patients with Philadelphia chromosome negative acute lipoblastic leukemia, particularly in relapse? There are at least three different methods, all of which seem to be centered on CD19 that uh, are coming to the fore and are going to be presented at this meeting. What do you and the other members of the panel have to say about some of these new drugs? Well, I, I would say the most uh, interesting uh, new approach is using the patient's autologous own T cells uh, to direct them towards the CD19 uh, leukemic cells that are expressing CD19. The first one is an antibody. It's a, it's a very smart antibody that binds to the CD19, to the uh, leukemic cells, but also binds on the other side of this antibody to the patient's own T cells. And this is called blinatunumab. It's also called BITE. Uh, and it is given uh, to patients and redirects the patient's own T cells, which are activated and uh, uh, causes the death of the leukemic cells. This turns out to be a very effective drug as a single agent. Uh, earlier reports have uh, shown even uh, 60 to 7% response rates. Uh, patients who have been uh, with minimal residual disease uh, and re resistant to chemotherapy were able to uh, re reduce the tumor burden to a point where the MRD is negative. The second approach, which is similar to that one, is what we call the chimeric antigen receptor approach, or the CAR. In this case, we are not using an antibody, but we're still using the patient T cells. Uh, patient T cells are removed from the, from the body, and then in the laboratory, they are introduced or transfused with a gene uh, that genetically engineers the patient's own cells to, on the one hand, uh, direct to the CD19 expressing uh, leukemia cells or B cell leukemia cells, and at the same time, activate their, their own T cells. And then the T cells are uh, reinfused into the patients. Now, the differences between the two, although conceptually it may be similar because they all use the same T, uh, T cells, uh, with the CAR technology, the cells can live for a long period of time. These are the patient cells, so they can live for months and, and probably produce an anti-leukemic effect that is sustained. And uh, we don't know exactly how long, and we're not even sure that it can cure patients. But is there three abstracts uh, in this meeting that show a very high response rate with these autologous uh, T cells. On the other hand, uh, blinatunumab is a drug. You have to, it's an antibody. You have to infuse it. It is a very active drug. It's given over 24 hours, but it works while you give it. And, and uh, once you stop giving it, uh, it stops uh, working. And it also depends on the patient's uh, uh, T cells. How about the third approach directed against CD19, that is the conjugated antibody like inotuzumab? Uh, well, that is, uh, uh, this, has got, this has been studied less, and, and uh, there's moderate response as single agent. Uh, so I, it is being studied uh, in comparison to, to chemotherapy, actually a little more advanced. But uh, I think the technology of, of uh, harvesting the patient's own T cells uh, conceptually is a very interesting approach, and now we have two technologies to do it. There is another antigen which is being targeted, is, is the CD22, uh, which is actually more commonly expressed on ALL cells. And when a, an anti, antibody binds to it, it internalizes it. So you can actually uh, bind it to a toxin and internalizes it into the cells. And, and this is a, a new drug. The inatuzumab is, is an antigen. Uh, or an antibody. It's a conjugated antibody. Conjugated, but targets CD22, not CD19, and it uh, uh, introduces, or it's like a targeted missile with a, uh, with a toxin, which is calcitomycin, which is, was the, the same toxin that was used in uh, gem, gemcitabine. Gemtuzumab. Uh, Gemtuzumab. Now, there's another interesting drug uh, that I think you were referring is the Seattle Genetics. Right, the SGN. The, SGN19A, uh, uh, it is also uh, immunoconjugate. The technology of conjugating the toxin and the antibody is different. The, the, the toxin is different. 
So these are two different uh, 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 drugs. I actually think that the CD19 uh, SGM drug is, is a very promising uh, drug. But we, we have to see uh, how these are. This is also on CD19, and, and, and overall we are seeing several new antibodies, either working on their own or uh, using the patient's T cells in order to. Uh, and kill uh, the ALL seizures. Now I must say these are all uh, for uh, T B cell ALL. They don't work on on, on T cell ALL, which is about uh, 20 to 25 percent of ALL in adults. Right. All of these are.